Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're talking about habaneros. Well we're gonna do something with our habaneros. You saw us harvest them in our last video. In this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how we preserve our habaneros. Now I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine habanero peppers here, and they're going to go in a jar. Now, with habaneros, last video, you'll notice that we uh, did cayennes and uh, jalapenos. We dry them and then make red pepper flakes out of them. Well, that's uh, all fine and good. Habaneros are so hot that we don't want to bite into a pepper flake made out of habanero. But this is how we use our habaneros. Uh, it's a condiment a lot like Tabasco sauce, but not anything like Tabasco sauce. So let's get at it and I'll show you what we're doing. Here's our habaneros. Uh, we want to get those ready. They've already been washed. So all I'm going to do, and I don't want to get my fingers in these. I couldn't find our rubber gloves. All I'm going to do is just cap them. Well, if I can get my knife to cap it. Cap them. Not getting any of that juice on me. Because uh, you wouldn't want that. And I'm just dropping them in a jar. Now what this jar is, it was a pickle jar. That's all it was. It was a pickle jar. And uh, you know reason to use your mason jars, your cannon jars for this kind of stuff. This is going to go in the fridge. So cut these peppers up off. Just cap them and drop them in the jar. And even though I'm not not getting any of this on me, I definitely will not be touching my eyes anytime soon. Just in case. All right, all those are capped, and I can just the the aroma coming off of it is pretty well choking me up. All right. So that's about a quarter of a jar. Then once we do that, to that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm just going to use a regular household teaspoon. A teaspoon of kosher salt. Then I'm going to put two teaspoons of honey and it's that bear honey so I don't know if it's pure honey or not it says it is but I don't know if I trust any of that anymore so I want to get about two teaspoons in there come on Okay, close enough. Two teaspoons of honey. Then, once I do that, I want to add a quarter of a cup of a heavy red wine. Uh, what I'm doing, what I'm using, is this jug wine. Okay, I'm not showing you the label, but I'm just using the great old big jug wine comes in gallons and now I've got some choices to make now I can either use uh, plain white vinegar or apple cider vinegar well a lot of times I would want to use apple cider vinegar it gives it that little extra bit of flavor but with habaneros uh, 
and wine together. Sometimes it's better just to use white vinegar. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to fill that with just good old distilled white vinegar. I didn't fill it all the way to the top. I left some air space. Put the lid on there. And shake that up good. Now the truth is, you could have added uh, a whole bunch of other spices to this if you wanted to. Uh, but I find that the habaneros give it such a flavor that uh, adding a lot of other spices to it is not always real good. We even like to take this, take these, and do it pretty much the same way, but just add a little sugar, salt, and apple cider vinegar, not put any wine in it at all. Uh, what will happen is over the course of the next three weeks, the wine, the alcohol in the wine is a solvent, just like water is a solvent. And then uh, the distilled vinegar is just acetic acid dissolved in water. So you've got water in there that acts as a universal solvent. And then you've got alcohol that acts as a solvent. So it will bring, this will bring more flavor of the habaneros out than if you just use plain vinegar. But uh, you don't want to use these. You, this is just going to go in the fridge. You don't want to eat the, the habaneros out of there. Uh, habanero on the Scoville scale is between 100,000 and 350,000 uh, units. And that's way hotter than anything I want to deal with. But with these in this liquid, what it does is it makes a nice sprinkle. It makes a nice condiment like Tabasco sauce, uh, only it's a lot hotter, about five times hotter than Tabasco peppers. If you like this homesteading kind of stuff, this do-it-yourself lifestyle, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. If you hit the little subscribe button, it'll take you to our channel page where you can subscribe. And if you hit the bell, it'll take you to, uh, it will notify you when we upload a video. We upload videos every Sunday, Sometimes one, sometimes five. Just depends on what's going on on the homestead that week. And with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.